I'll just in very briefly introduce myself. I'm Professor Nikat Huda, and from Karachi, Pakistan. And I'm just going to very briefly uh, give you a different uh, perspective of the uh, work that this group with, that I'm going to introduce you to. But before I do that, I'd like to thank Judy for organizing this session, and also for the to the organizers to the Congress for making it possible for us to make this uh, you know session successful. We group here together as Women in Health, and I represent Women in Health together for the future. And this group, sorry. as you can see, is, it's, it's about a small group that we, uh, of women's health and education that we formed uh, in 1991 uh, in Eloran, Nigeria. There was a network, and uh, now it is known as Towards Unity for Health, and we convened there at one, in one of their annual conference uh, in Eloran, in Nigeria, and it was a very small group of us, academia, belonging to academia or from different countries, decided that there should be a women's and health group or a task force that would help build relationship between the academia, between universities, and work together for betterment of the communities, particularly on, on the issues related to women and health. And then uh, this group, of course, worked very at a low level until in 2002, and then we found out uh, we just got uh, you know, that at the right time we needed support from, from organization to lift us up and to make us, to make, move forward, and that was from GETS. GETS, Global Health Through Education Training and Services, based in Massachusetts, USA, and they sort of extended that support to us and that made it possible for us to group together and work together and for the betterment of an uh, you know, for women at large, and we're, we're talking about, you know, all across different continents and different part of the region. Um, currently, we are in a process of becoming an independent organization. Previously, as I told you, we, we started with as a task force, and now we are coming together as an independent organization, and that will be more as women and health together for the future, and we hope that we can extend our further activities that what we have been doing. So you can see that we are spread across in several parts of the world, and you can see that our work is not confined to one continent or one country, but it runs across from, you know, if I can say from, I'm from Pakistan, from South Asia to South Africa, and we have work done Basically, we could have it in, in Cairo, work done by uh, different institutional members of the members of our group who have done work. And you can see in the pictures that it's more related to doing it community-based and women at the community level and working for them. And our group is very much energetic, a dynamic group, and which represents nearly uh, about 20 countries, 20 to 22 countries. And as I said, if I start naming them, it will take five minutes, and Judy will not be happy about that, that we spend. But of course, it represents Africa, Asia, and we are here. So then, uh, you know. We move forward with the vision. And what are we going to do now, and why, uh, you know, when we have all worked together for the past so many years, uh, together doing our work at the, in the local community, in the local context, and with partnership maybe at times with the university, and, you know, doing the work linking education and, you know, training of health professionals and providing them experiences in the communities. So we are looking at a world we're looking at women at a world where healthy, empowered women will be able to get recognition and contribute to their uh, communities in a more positive way. And you could find that, and that's what we have tried. There is gender equity is a reality, and women's health right as a major uh, res are respectful. 
So the mission is more or less to working with communities to learn women's perspectives, almost what they, sorry. I mean, the perspective of women are important and we believe that we would like to know what they want for themselves and how to base our, you know, the base our goals according to the needs that they sort of identify. And then to help mentoring them, and that's very important that we do, we give support, but they lack mentoring them for the leadership position, for being leaders in health, how to promote health, and how to look after the betterment of the community that they belong to as leaders in health. So we teach as well, as I said, education as uh, health professionals, equally important health profession students, and with appropriate knowledge and skills needed to meet women's needs and respect their rights. So, you know, talking about health professionals' education, talking about the input that there should be on uh, women's rights, and uh, to accept that, how important it is to understand their needs and rights. Then also the other uh, that we look at is to fund skills development, how to grow that, I mean, you know, how to develop their skills in, in terms of to assess their problems and improve healthcare. So we're looking at funding at skills, you know, funding of their skills. Now we look at the objectives and the objectives are very much closely related to how we have developed our wish missions. Uh, and we would like them to teach future health providers. We teach, rather than teach future health providers with the skills, knowledge that are necessary to understand, to work for healthcare for women. And we want to encourage universities to partner with women's group and continue and community organizations as well. So universities in, you know, as a tradition has more or less has been in isolation and not you know, being contributing to the social or the welfare, but now is to bring the universities in such a way so that they can be partnered with on this issue. Sorry. So the open opportunities and then for women's, for women's human rights, for gender issues and health profession education uh, curricula as well. As I said, it sort of moves on, cultivate leaderships, skills among female health profession and students and become a South-South collaboration for health professions education. So the whole idea is that we come up with our experience in working in communities in different settings. It, it gives us a, an edge of how to sort of broaden our own scope and work together at, that, that is at par with what is, ever, what is needed at the global level. So um, we, I have, um, we have our accomplishment, but I have my colleague here, uh, Dayanara. I would request her to carry on with the accomplishments that we've had as yet. 